So needless to say, I got beaten up by the French shearer and I got beaten up by the English. <laughs> well, it's because I came from the French part of And we were action central because you had the tracks, you had a police station on Shearer and Grand Trunk, and then you had a fire station on Hibernia. It was dangerous things. I could never understand what it was when I was a kid, but we used to plan it. It was where they stored pipes. I guess they were sewer pipes, like big, big ones. But they didn't stack them, they dumped them there. So they were all kind of randomly arrayed. And so we'd go up and try to crawl to them. Thank goodness, you know, they didn't slip or right here. Now, we're coming to Grand Trunk Street, and I used to pick up the newspaper from my grandmother who lived next door to us. And Mrs. Deer and her son and her grandson lived together. Mrs. Deer was an old Scottish woman. I used to have to go and buy her snuff as well on Center Street at the Rexall drug store. And she had, yeah, she had a pouch. So when you collect it for the newspaper at the end of the week, she'd pull up her three skirts and had this leather pouch hanging. And she'd reach in and take them out of her pouch. But her son, um, Billy, worked for the city of Montreal. And, and a big treat with Billy was he, would clean, he was a sewer cleaner in the summer. So how they would clean the sewers is they had these long, long shovels. It was like a, a scoop, uh, almost like a spoon. And we would stick them into the sewers and lift them up and take all the dump out. And uh, whenever he got a rubber ball, he'd save it for us. But of course, it didn't smell very good. 